Cheers! Winners, welcome or welcome back to this channel. I am Winnie. I make locks and travel content. If this is the first time that you're watching a video of mine, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are notified every single time that I upload. And if you're an oldie and you've come back to watch this face of mine, love you long time. Now, before I get into this video, in case you don't already know, I've had my locks since 2011. My locks are not looking as long as people may expect for it to be because I'm just at a point in my journey where I'm not obsessed with length and I'm more so focused on the health of my hair and in 2023 I did cut my hair short I believe three times so with that being said we're gonna get into the five points in regards to five things that I've now stopped doing on my lock journey I've got all my notes on my phone so I don't miss a single point so first point is I have stopped retwisting my locks so some of you may or may have not watched my recent lock video but in january 2024 not that long ago i decided i'm going to no longer be retwisting my locks i may decide to do a separate video altogether because it's not the read video for me to really go deep into it but the main reason as to why i decided to stop retwisting my locks is because i no longer like the manicured look and i also don't see any benefit real benefit in regards to me retwisting my locks if anything i feel that retwisting my locks is doing the absolute opposite to uh being beneficial to my locks i'll do a separate video on that if you're interested let me know in the comment section below if you want a separate video and i'll get onto that second point is i've stopped listening to other people's advice which may be detrimental to my locks and scalp um which is interesting considering that you know i make videos about locks on my youtube channel but i always like to make it clear that things that i say in regards to locks tend to be things that i'm working out or have clocks works well for me um i never really like to kind of give advice and be like oh this is gonna work for everybody's hair maybe i used to do that before kind of when i first started but as i've grown older one thing that i've learned is that different things work for different people um, and that's anything in life same thing with looks what may work well for me may not work well for you what may work well for you may not work well for me and all that good stuff but an example that i can give that i have stopped listening to is uh, there are a lot of people on here that keep talking about the fact that going longer between washes helps the scalp, helps to thicken your hair, it's good for your hair, yada yada. And I just find that to just not be true. I don't think it's true, especially not for my hair. Um, even before I had locks, I was somebody that always used to wash my hair once every two weeks, yeah? And for the most part of my lock journey, that has been the case. However, I think in recent years, I've kind of been open-minded to trying out new things and taking on board other people's advice and what may be working for other people. And I've just realised that I need to stop doing that and just focus on what works well for me. So at present, I've gone back to not going any longer than two to three weeks washing my locks because I've clocked my scalp my locks my hair thrives on a clean scalp my third point is i've stopped styling um i made this decision i want to say last year yeah i think it was last year because at present i haven't styled my locks since august 2023 for carnival not in whole carnival i believe um now styles look absolutely great they look really sensational and i love the compliments that i get and all of that but again I noticed that with styling, styling messes up my locks. It damages my locks, it thins my locks so bad, especially my locks at the front. I just don't see the need for it. I had previously said that maybe, you know, on special occasions and things like that, I probably will get my locks styled, but at present, I don't even feel to do that, to be honest with you. Now, Obviously, I do things like I tie up my hair, I might have my hair in a high bun, but I'm very conscious to make sure that when I am tying up my hair, I have it in a high bun and whatnot, it's loosely done and I'm not feeling any tension on my locks. But for me to sit down and have somebody style up my locks and have it in place, same place for about two, three weeks, 
did that my fourth point is in general i've stopped caring about my locks being aesthetically pleasing to everyone else right my main priority is the health of my locks and my roots my fifth point and this is going to be a very unpopular opinion i think is i've actually stopped caring about how folks refer to my locks right i refer to my hair as locks however if somebody was gonna call my hair dreads dreadlocks I would not take offense to it now my reason before anybody starts getting you know trigger happy in the comments and stuff my reason is I listen to a lot of reggae music right and what I find is in most tunes other people with locks are referred to dreads natty dread dreadlock rasta it's not used as an offensive term right I personally feel, and I could be wrong, but I do feel like the Western world has taken the name Dreadlocks, Dreadlock, and kind of made it into something that it isn't. Like, the word, the name, term, whatever you want to call it, Dreadlocks, I don't see it as a bad thing. When somebody's like, oh, Winnie, I really like your dreads, oh, your dreadlocks look nice. I don't think to myself or I don't say oh I'm so offended that you said that because people that I'm around people that I come across music that I listen to dreads natty dreads is not a bad thing um if anything it's used as a term of endearment so I refer to my hair as locks like I said how other people choose to refer it dreads dreadlocks I couldn't really care less and I'm aware that's probably a very unpopular opinion but this whole thing of locks dreadlocks oh don't call my hair dreads there's nothing dreadful about my hair and stuff like that at one point I even got sucked into it because I was seeing a lot of people on YouTube um a certain specific type of people on YouTube which I'm not going to get into um making it a thing but I can guarantee you if you was going to go speak to someone that's an actual rasta somebody that's in the islands um that has had their locks for years and years and it's a part of their culture it's a part of their religion they're not going to feel any type of way about you calling it dreads or dreadlocks and again like i said it's a personal thing so if you feel differently that's cool um i personally don't think it's that much of a big deal uh, what I will say though, just to round up this video, is that I'm just very much at a point in my look journey where I'm very much focused on the health of my hair. So, with me, anything that I feel is going to potentially damage my locks or irritate my scalp, I no longer will do. I do remember like many years ago, which I did say I think in my last video, or oh, just over the years there has been some people that have been like when you stop retwisting your hair like retwisting your locks is damaging and stuff like that and i was like if i don't retwist it then you know the front of my locks are just gonna thin out or my hair's gonna fall out and stuff like that and then lately i have been coming across um other youtubers um holistic flow in particular who does a lot of like videos in regards to like semi free forming and things like that and similar to myself, a lot of like the hair at the front of her hair grows out of her lock. And she has shared like techniques and stuff on how to deal with that, which is basically braiding the hair into your lock. So nowadays, uh, when I wash my hair, I don't do it on every wash, more like the, every second wash. Then I would braid like hair outside of it into my lock to just prevent um, any sort of like breakage. So yeah. This is how the front of my hair is looking like. It's looking so good, guys. Do y'all remember how it was looking like? Was it like a year or two or so ago? Um, if I find a video, I'm going to link it. But, yo, <laughs> we doing good, baby. Uh, however, if you have anything that you would add to your list in regards to things that you've stopped doing on your lock journey, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Let's get to gisting. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until my next one, take care. Be good.